Hello everybody and welcome back to Isaac. We are jumping in again for another curated run and this time we are doing a familiar only run. We've got something really, really interesting in store here. This was a suggestion that I got in one of the comments, but I've kind of added my own flavor and spice to it by picking out some items that I think will really lend themselves towards a pretty fun uh familiar only run so let's sort of to run through the items we got here so we've got mum's purse for holding two trinkets and of course the blindfold here so that we cannot shoot um then in terms of our trinkets we've got the adoption papers so that we can get um familiars in our shops for a cheaper price and we're playing as tainted keeper so we get more money and more items in our shop we then have sewn bond so that all of our familiars gain our tier effects so that we can't shoot but our familiars are still able to gain the tier effects we grab we then have uh, mongo cells here which is going to be our way of gaining passive items so we're not allowed to pick up passive items other than what we get through mongo cells as you'll see here if we take a look at brother bobby we gain the euphoria effect shooting in one direction gradually decrease our tier delay of course of course, that's not super useful for um, having the blindfold on, but others, such as Sister Maggie giving a damage up, will affect it. And then lastly, we have Overstock here. All shops are tainted keeper shops, which is obviously a little redundant here. Uh, but the main thing that we're getting out of this is shop spawn in the womb and... Um, we can attempt to spawn an additional shop per floor. So we'll actually get two shops every floor after this floor. So I think this is going to be pretty interesting. And that's sort of a question for this episode. What's your favorite vanilla familiar? And what's your favorite modded familiar? I'd really like to hear what people have to say in terms of what their favorite familiars are. Obviously playing as this character is going to make things a little more difficult as well. Because Tainted Keeper has low HP. But I'm, I'm, I'm sort of ready and raring to go and seeing what we can... Seeing what we can achieve here, because I think this will be a pretty goddamn fun run uh, if we can get some cool items in the mix. Obviously, we're not guaranteed to get good items uh, and good familiars, but you'll kind of see how Mongo Cells works and how it can potentially spiral out of control. We have Brother Bobby and Sister Maggie here to just kind of start things off for us and, and sort of get the ball rolling, um, because otherwise we'd have no damage or we'd have to not blindfold. But I thought I wanted to do a challenge where literally it is familiars only, um, and the... Mi the mixture of um, Mongo cells plus having the CERN bond means that we can get certain item effects from picking up familiars. For example, uh, if you get um, the the like technology baby, um, you'll get you'll get the technology item. If you get Brimstone like little brimstone you will get brimstone stuff like that there's some really crazy effects some of them are weaker than others but some can be very 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 strong so i'm really interested to see how out of control this gets depending on the familiars that we come across okay so we got cousin um cousin cletus shoots number one tiers and deals a little bit of damage i think we'll take him to start with we've also got the gorgon here of course we get conjoined early on here um Weirdly enough, he, um, he fires in, like, random directions by the looks of it. He fires very, very fast, which is, uh, gonna be kind of strong here, I think. Gonna be kind of strong. Obviously, his tears are a little bit weaker, but because of the effects, they're not gonna be that much weaker. Okay, let's, let's be careful here, because I've just taken some really stupid damage. Is he just firing in random directions, or are he firing at enemies? I can't quite tell. There you go. He, th he seems to just be firing entirely random directions, which, considering how fast he fires, is probably for the best, otherwise he'd be quite strong. Uh, I also do have a mod on as well that lets me reorder my familiars, so I can pick which order they appear in, which is obviously really, really nice, because it means that we can uh, make sure that our familiars that shoot are always at the forefront, and always helping us out as much as possible. Right, do you want to chill out? Ooh, a nickel, very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. But yes, I like having our shooting familiars here. We'll go back and get Gorgon, because Gorgon is a familiar. Obviously, with Mongo Cells, it only affects vanilla um, familiars. It doesn't affect modded ones. I do hope at one point they do add in the ability for it to affect modded ones, but right now, it is purely vanilla, because obviously, you have to think up effects and add them to every single familiar individually. It'd be a crazy task to do it for every single modded one. But it would be cool to see in the future, to see what sort of things come about. Item rooms, of course, item rooms aren't going to be really of any use to us unless they have a familiar in them, so we're not going to see a whole lot of use there. Okay. Rooms like this are a little more tough because there's creep and these guys are stuck behind goddamn poops. 
We'll make make the most of it. We'll do what we can. I was thinking of starting with Child Leash as well, but I opted against that just because I think, although Child Leash is obviously fun, it would make things a little too easy in certain ways. Um, you may think that obviously I'm blindfolded, it's not going to be super easy, but you can already see how much damage we're doing with the familiars that we have because of um, because of Sun Bond. So it can it can clearly get kind of out of control the more we go for it here. So. Especially the more the more familiars we get that shoot. The shooting familiars are really going to be the ones that are kind of crazy. There's quite a lot that can do some really crazy effects. And certain bond can change how some familiars work entirely. For example, Baby Pluto is a modded one where it normally works like Andromeda where you fire um, tiny planet tiers. But instead, it, it removes the tiny planet effects. Dude, I can't believe I almost missed that. But... An item here, we just don't need it. It's not a familiar. It's It does increase our damage, but I don't believe our damage stat affects our familiars, so that's not going to make much of a difference at all. Does this guy not give me any pennies? It's a little rude. Oh, God. Uh, we got the Cursed Dice in here. Um, unfortunately, that doesn't do anything for us. I will take an active item if it's interesting and sort of helps the run, but there's some of them that aren't really going to help the run at all, so probably not going to take those ones. We do have to be very careful not to die here. This is obviously a run as Tainted Keeper, which is, I wouldn't say not easy, because this guy is very strong, but it can it can associate some, some pretty high risk with your run, so it's something you've got to keep in mind. Oh, hello. Hey, speed up is actually amazing. Especially considering we're not really going to be getting speed up from items. Um, speed up's very, very nice for us for picking up money. Being able to get health when we need it if we take damage. And just being able to collect money before it disappears as well in general. It's just going to be really good. But you can see already that this familiar only run is, uh, is, is off to a pretty good start. This, this, um, Cletus, this little Cletus fella is pretty goddamn good. So we did get stitches here, which I think actually is a pretty fitting... Um, Fitting familiar to grab for this run, because uh, now we can grab various things over rocks, but it's an active that's still a familiar, which I think is kind of an interesting idea. It also means we can get into care rooms for free. That's never been a bad thing, has it? It also means we can do some telefracking if we want with him, which is a little less relevant, but we can still use it on occasion. Of course, devil card here doesn't really do anything for us, so I'll just kind of pop it. But yeah, we should be seeing two shops per floor now as well, so we should be seeing... A bit more shops available to us, more items for us to grab. Oh, that was a nice amount of money there. Lovely, lovely. Taken care of, my lad. Taken care of. You may think, by the way, that this is actually quite strong to start with. But I did a, I did a bunch of test runs, and there was a lot that were very, very, very poor. Uh, it took me a long time to actually think up this this combination of items. Obviously, there's quite a lot of items going on here. It took me a long while to sort of see which items would be best for this and what would be the most fun. Uh, but eventually, I came to this conclusion, and I think this is, like, sort of the best... The, the best of, sort of, both worlds of using modded and vanilla to create something interesting. Without it being crazy overpowered, which, like I said, there's some runs that have been really overpowered. There's some that have been absolute duds. But here's our second shop. Lovely stuff. I can't hit this guy. We're really good on money right now. We're having to get quite close to any of these mix or Cletus can hit. But he fires so fast that it's kind of worth it. Okay, so we've got Cherub. Uh, which is Godhead Shots, very, very nice. And then we've got Ghost Baby, which is going to fire Spectral, which is very, very nice. And then we've got Headless Baby, which is going to mean the player leaves a Blood Trail. All very, very nice. Good stuff. Okay. So, I actually think... Okay, so one thing in, that you're noticing already is, unfortunately, our Cherub Baby that normally fires Godhead Shots isn't firing Godhead Shots. And that's because of the way that this uh, trinket works. Because it replaces them with our tears. And our, like, it basically puts our tear effects. But our tear effects don't have godhead. But you, ha you are seeing, however, that because Ghost Baby gave us spectral tears, now all of our familiars have spectral tears. So this is kind of these two items working very, very well in conjunction with one another. And the way that I kind of intended for this run to go. Hey, that creep did, uh, did some major, major work on him there. Wow. Okay, so also as well, as I said, we can reorder our familiar so we can go and get... Let's bring... Let's bring Spectral Baby up to the front. 
and we'll bring you up to the front as well. And then I think we're kind of good to go here. There you go. Devil deals, we can check familiars. It's not super likely they'll be in there, but there is some, like Rotten Baby. Tears have a chance to spawn blue flies. We like that. Um, and obviously, this is just the, the deal of the century right here. So we'll be taking a quarter, even though it's not a familiar item. It is basically an item that doesn't do anything to contribute to the run in terms of tears or damage. So I think that makes sense to just grab. Uh, we should go into that cash room. I can't forget we've got stitches here to enter cash rooms. But there's not many familiars we're going to fight. In fact, I don't even think I'm going to bother going into cash rooms. There's, there's so few things that I can get from cash rooms. I don't need the health. The vast majority of items aren't going to be familiars. There's maybe like blood puppy potentially could be uh, one that I'd get. But there's, there's very few. Yeah, the extra speed helped me out there just a little bit. Good stuff, good stuff. So far, we've gained a, a good amount of familiars here, and I, I absolutely love having Spectral on all of our familiars here. This is proving to be quite valuable. I'll leave that penny there, just a bit of healing, just in case. And we are spawning blue flies from a lot of our tiers here, which is uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Lovely stuff, we'll grab that. Our first shop, we're going to get Harlequin. Whiz tears shoot diagonally, and actually that won't be too bad for us because it we we can't shoot. And then Demon Baby grants marked effect, automatically firing tears at a movable red target. Ooh, interesting. Um, oh, okay, so that that doesn't affect us either. Oh no, it does. It does. Okay. Um, this allows us to aim our familiars a little better, actually. So this is probably pretty positive for us. Um, we do, however, want to move. Our last fella here, all the way up into slot one. Wait, excuse me? There you go. Move him into slot one. Demon baby makes the most sense to be up at the front. But marked effect here. This is another item that we're gaining. This is it's pretty goddamn good for us. Marked on familiars is uh, it's kind of like King Baby in a way. I wonder what King Baby does actually. I bet King Baby has an interesting effect. Ooh, a golden penny. Lovely stuff. Right, remember, we've got another shop to find here. How, like I said, how have we not finished that room yet? So far, this this is this has yielded some pretty interesting results. Yielded some pretty interesting results. Let's keep moving on until we find our second shop. Oh, we got pride here. I'll take care of you. I really like having Mark here because we're able to use some of our familiars that are all the way back in the queue to steal deal some decent damage. Which normally, they'd kind of just be firing off at nothing a lot of the time. So, it's making up for a lot of that. It's a lot more targeted now. Very positive for us. Oh god, I did not realise there was an armada chasing me. So item room. Item rooms obviously don't have a lot of value for us. But they can have familiars in them, like Bag of Bobbies. Uh, although, I'm I'm not going to take Bag of Bobbies because one thing I, I realized while testing this is if you hit the familiar limit, it causes Mongo cells to have some glitchy behavior. Um, and I believe Bag of Bobbies will hit the familiar limit pretty goddamn hard, considering how many other familiars we have. So I'm going to back off of that. But as you can see, unfortunately this time we didn't get two shops. Now, as the item said, it's a chance to get two shops. Basically, depending on how the floor generates depends on if there's a plausibility for a second shop. So it's not always going to be the case that we get a second shop, as is with this run. But on some other floors we will, and I believe that includes the womb as well, which is rather nice. Okay. Beautiful stuff here. Oh, hello. You're firing some balls of death at us. Luckily, you are not a problem. Nothing there for us. Keep her going. Keep her going. The familiar only run is going beautifully. But yeah, so it's kind of an interesting way of allowing us to get passive items on a familiar only run. 25% chance to get Eternal D6 here. I probably would take it, actually. Yes, baby. I'm not using thingy enough, so I'll take Eternal D6 for some rerolls here. Because we could get some additional familiars out of this. We'll also take this for the extra speed. The Spectral plus Marked is really what's uh, 
what's coming into play here, what's what's making this so good. The fact that we can shoot through walls with our marks means that all my familiars, no matter where they are in my queue, are getting the opportunity to do some good stuff. Which I very much like to see. Beautiful. We're pretty much full on money now. We don't, don't got to worry too much more about grabbing money. Careful of these fellas doing their thing. Obviously, if it's a luck penny and stuff, we will try and still get it. But this does mean we can go in here, and if it's not a familiar, we can try and re-roll it for the chance at another familiar, which is pretty good. We like that quite a bit. Right. We have not seen either of our shops so far. Come on, little clam fella. Beautiful stuff. I think we've just gotten really lucky this run with the amount of familiars we got that shoot. I've done a few of these where I just couldn't get familiars that actually fire tears. I had, I'd start with Sister Maggie and Brother Bobby, and I just couldn't get it rolling. And th those were in like some of my test runs. And I was like, oh, I'm going to have to just see how it goes when I record and hope for the best. And luckily, we've gotten pretty lucky so far with the amount of firing familiars here. And uh, created something pretty interesting. Got a few modded ones in there. They aren't quite doing what they're intended to do, but it's still somewhat working out. The Cern Bond edition is kind of interesting because it works really well with Mongo cells, but it does kind of kill the effectiveness of some of the familiars, like this cherub baby that's meant to have godhead tears that doesn't. <laughs> but he's just a nice firing familiar now. He's just a nice little lad that helps us out and shoots at stuff. Nothing wrong with that. I also do quite like Marked as well. As an item in general. I know a lot of people really dislike Marked, but I think Marked is a fun item. After Repentance, it, made, it got made a lot better. Okay, so we've got Gu Guppy's Pride here. Okay, we've got, we got a few things here. We've got Daddy Longlegs, which I will take. We've got Guppy's Pride, which is one of three for Guppy. And we've got Little Lamb, which honestly, Little Lamb is the most dangerous motherfucker ever, so I'm not going to take him. I think I'm probably going to skip out on Guppy's Pride. And, no, do you know what? I'll take Guppy's Pride. I'll take Guppy's Pride. It adds a familiar pair floor, and it can get a little messy with the amount of familiars it adds. But we're late enough into the run for it to not add too many, so I think it should be okay. And it is a firing familiar as well, which makes me want it even more sort of thing. don't think it's a bad pickup. And obviously, the fact that it's Guppy, counts towards Guppy transformation, is not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. I don't think anyone will turn their nose up at a little bit of Guppy. I don't actually know if there's any way we can get guppies. Are other guppy familiars? Technically, nine lives is familiar. And there's also the plushy guppy from um, the Sacred Dreams mod. So, actually, yes, we can plausibly get guppy. It's not out of the question. Reroll. I don't think there's any familiars in the boss pool apart from, like, Cuba meat and ball of bandages. So, there's not much point in rerolling that. I probably should have just rerolled the shop after. Lovely stuff. Quickly stop firing here so I can bomb this and see what we get. Whole lot of nutter. A spectral tears coming in clutch right now. I mean, we miss out on all the money here, but honestly, we don't really need the money at this point. Here's a shop. We've got ourselves Conquer Baby. 10% um, chance to spawn five beams of light near enemies when it is hit. That's pretty good. We've got this heart here, which is an active item. We don't want that. Okay, another little familiar in our roster. One that's uh, made for specifically blocking tiers. I don't think that's a bad thing. He is at the end of our roster, which is maybe not the best. Um, in fact, because we got marked, it's probably a good idea to um, to move him all the way to the front. Where the hell is he? One second. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Also, Retribution's causing some errors here. Oh, no, he's he's near the front anyways. Look, he, he's, he's underneath Demon Baby. Okay, that's fine. As long as he's going to stay there, that's fine. we got Arrow of the Shop here. Do not like this, uh, this room here. Not quite sure what to think of this. Do I go just kill you now? Yes, I do. Good. Okay, and in here we've got Hemolacria, um, which would be absolutely wild with these familiars. Okay, this is meant to be a familiar early run. I'll take this guy. I just want to show you how... I'm going to remove it. I'm not going to keep it. But I just want to show you how absolutely ludicrously broken this would be. 
Look at that. I mean, it's so laggy. Um, remove... No. Yeah. yeah, I just wanted to show that because that we're not using random passive items in this run. Ooh, Sack Dagger, technically a familiar. Uh, although, do I want to take it? It doesn't have any additional effects. I'm going to say no. Let's reroll. And then... Rubber Ducky. Not a familiar. But that's our two shops taken care of. Got some good stuff. We got um, this little spooter da guy that um, I think he latches onto enemies right and shoots them. But remember, he'll be shooting them with spectral tears and all that jazz. I'm hoping we can get a few more vanilla items to get some other tier effects mixed into all of this. Would be pretty nice to uh, to get like... I'm, I'm trying to think what other tier effects we could get here. I, I want to get like technology or something like tier replace or something wild. From Robo Baby, because that would be pretty nuts. Good job we could slide past that. Oh. Absolutely horrible room here. This is Fiend Folio Dev's idea of fun. It's uh, it's an interesting idea of fun. Not what I'd call fun. Apparently those Keymasters are getting reworked when Fiend Folio gets an update though. I don't know when that's going to be though. That update's kind of been talked about for a good couple of months so far. And I've not seen any actual sort of evidence of when it'll happen. So I'm not actually sure if that's coming or if that's just kind of rumoured. I'm, I'm, I'm unsure. Don't really care about that. This is just beelining it to the boss now. Okay, careful of these spectral fellas. We have spectral tears, but so do they. This should be the boss here. There you go. Had a feeling. Hey. I like that. I'm liking these uh, enemies getting petrified. I'm not quite sure what's actually doing that. Which which familiar do I have that's petrifying? I'm unsure. <clears throat> okay, he's getting destroyed. Be a little careful here. Wow. <laughs> kind of amazing. Mystery meat. And then we got this guy. We can at least re-roll this for a chance at a familiar. Give me like a twisted pair or something, I don't know. Chance to shoot a tier with increased damage that adds charge to your active. Ah, that's not really going to help us, is it? Okay, down we go. Necro 2. Two more shops await us. Two more sets of familiars for us to purchase. Plenty of money to play around with. I think when a mini boss spawns, it means you're not going to get a second shot, by the way. I'm not entirely sure about that. That's kind of what it feels like right now. So we'll see. We'll see if that ends up being the case. Oh, wow. Not that we need the money, but on a normal run, that'd be pretty interesting. I think I'm just going to quickly skibbity, skibbity, hobbity, hibbity back to this room. So that I can heal up. <laughs> I like having uh, a little money lying around on the floor for exactly that situation when I'm playing as a character that can be as uh, easily killed as this from a mistake like that. Unfortunately, great room for money here, but we just don't need it right now. The Spectral, baby. The Spectral. It's simply too good. Like I said, it's just that paired with Marked is, is doing some some shenanigans that we can all enjoy. Oh, hello. Kind of wasn't expecting that. Ah, I was a bit confused what was going on with this run then. I thought I was expected to kill the big heads, but I don't think I am. Arcade here, not really that good for us. Where art thou shop? Where art thou? I wish to buy so many familiars. Please. I 
I wish to buy so many familiars. Here's our item room at least. I do not like the purple fires being in here. We do have this little cherub dude that blocks shots for us. Not the cherub, I can't remember his name now. The little laser firing one. In here we get compound fracture. Yet another one that would be kind of crazy, but I'm sticking to my guns, even though that could create something crazy. I also don't want to pick those items up for other reasons too. Not just because I'm trying to do this challenge of, of familiar only, but also items like that, like that and Hemolacria, would just create too much lag for it to be an enjoyable experience while you're watching. So here's our first one. We get Fate's Reward. Um, you can fly. Okay, well that's pretty good. Um, entering a hostile room has a chance to spawn a charmed enemy. That's rather nice. And then we have... Only if Familiar is level 2 or above, the player's tears can charm enemies. That seems good too. And then we'll re-roll here. Unfortunately, nothing great there. Do you know what? I'll re-roll again. Ooh! Plus one Familiar. Spawn a Familiar when taking damage lasts for the current room. There you go. And plus one Familiar. Little Spewer. Do we get an idea of what Little Spewer does for us? Player will leave Water Trail. Okay. Nice. Well, that was unexpected. Not an item I was uh, I was planning on having for this run, but an item that I am glad to see nonetheless. And we have flight now as well, so they can fly now. Lots of Mongo Cell interactions there. I'm going to keep everything firing at this door here and hope that one of the nubbins comes through this door. There you go. I like the fact that with marked, things like Little Spewer automatically fire and release as soon as it's charged. It's very, very nice. We'll grab that. And remember, the womb here, because of our items, should have shops. I don't know if it'll have two. It'll at least have one. But we'll, we'll, we'll explore and see what we can find. Do need to grab a little bit more money though right now because we did spend quite a bit on that last floor. We went down to like 40 something. Love that. Just keep her going. It's very, very rare that I full clear the womb, but this is going to be one of those times. I wouldn't say full clear. It's going to be clear until I find what I'm looking for and then I will abandon ship. <laughs> Sack room here. Now the minimap is a bit deceptive because it, it, it seems like the second spawned uh, shop doesn't appear as a shop on the minimap until you enter it, which is a bit weird, but I'm guessing it's because it's spawned by methods that the game is not particularly fond of. <laughs> I know that a lot and a lot of the ways that things are done in Isaac are complete and utter workarounds that are a bit a bit jiggered, so I'm sure there'll be some funkiness with how uh, how the additional shops are being spawned. Lovely stuff. Okay, money's up to a really good pl uh, point now. We did not find our shop, so we'll have to head back. If there is one, that is. I'm pretty sure it did say there'd be shops in the womb, so... I'm fairly sure we can find one. And we didn't we didn't really explore anyway. We just went in a straight line and got lucky to find the boss first. It's always when you don't want to go straight to the boss in the womb that it's like, Here, here's the boss. Why are you going to do this to me? Ooh, keys we do actually want here, so we'll take that. Thank you. Not that we need them for our shops. It's more for the chests when we get down to the uh, cathedral and the chest. Go, 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 go. Ah, troll bomb. Stop pu pushing along. Ooh, there's a library here. Wasn't expecting a library, but... Uh, Maybe there could be a familiar book in there. You know the one. A good old monster Manuel. You never know about the monster Manuel. No monster Manuel. How dare you. Bookworm doesn't do anything for us, by the way, so there's no point picking the books up to get Bookworm. It's all about trying to find monster Manuel. Or anything else that spawns familiars, which I think there's the, the, the Fiend Folio book, which technically does. How dare you, game? 
Give me what I require. I was planning on playing Baldur's Gate today, and I've just ended up, like, spending the last, like, five hours planning and recording this, <laughs> trying to get the perfect setup. I was just really interested in doing something unique. And by the way, if, if anyone in the comments, anyone watching can think of other runs, it doesn't have to be a familiar run, but runs like this where it's like a bunch of items together, like three or four items, or even just two items together that make like a really interesting combo, let me know and I will try it out because I really like the idea of these sort of challenge runs. They don't have to be hard, they can be overpowered. Um, but the ones that have a little bit of difficulty to them, like this one, where, obviously, we've gotten lucky here and it hasn't been difficult, but if we'd not have got the items we got, it would have been more difficult. We get Big Fan here. We'll take Big Fan. Other two of these will re-roll. And we'll re-roll again. Uh, Tears have a chance to wax enemies. Okay, no. See, unfortunately on this floor, I think because the library spawned, we only got one shop. Unless on the womb, you just only get one shop anyways. That's also a strong possibility. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but we got a familiar, big fan. Unfortunately, not one that has a Mongo Cell ability. But still, nice. I'm not sure why we're firing light beams and runes that are out of combat, by the way. I think that 10% chance counts for any of my familiars hitting it, which is interesting. Not what I expected. Of course, we get the matriarch here, which is just nightmare fuel of a boss. But we're getting through it. We're getting through it. It's actually not that hard of a boss anymore. It used to have, like, triple the amount of HP or something. It was crazy before. We've not been getting super lucky with our devil deals, have we? <laughs> we've only had like what, like one devil deal, maybe two? I think we've only had one. Yeah, it's these rooms spawning that's screwing us over, I think, you know. I think when these rooms spawn, it stops, uh, it stops shops from spawning, which is mighty saddening. a lot of golden pennies. I'll leave those lying around. A smattering of those just to chill. Oh, really? A second wave? What the hell? I can't damage them. Like, I can now. That was weird. Couldn't damage them until they decided to move. Hey, Doppel. Get wrecked. Oh, I was wondering what was freezing things earlier. It's my Gorgon, isn't it? I forgot I had Gorgon. Gorgon's amazing. Could you not freeze the enemy that's mid-death animation, though, Gorgon? That would be that would be grand. That would be grand. A viz. Lovely stuff. Is a boss dope. Dude, literally this never happens. I never just go the right way to the boss in the womb. Ever. And now I want to find the shop and it's like, here we go. Straight to the boss. Do -do 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 -do. Please. Please. Don't do this to me. Also, such vast amounts of money on room, <laughs> like in situations where we no longer need the money. Something's still alive? How? Hey, the Viz. Oh, man. The mystery egg uh, Mongo cell just spawning them, kind of like Perkego. Very, very nice. Damn you, shop. Where art thou? Don't you hide from me, you coy little shop. <laughs> I love the way that so many rooms have, like, the enemy start in the dead center of the room. Because the Vizzes just walk through the door, immediately laser beam, and always get a kill. It's beautiful. Unless they fire backwards. <laughs> Which, for some reason, he just did. Not quite sure how to explain that one, Mr. Viz. Yeah, it seems when the when, when the Viz is hitting my familiar, it's counting towards his chance to fire the laser beams, which is, yeah, very interesting. 
looking like we might not be having a shop on this floor, or at least it's going to be the last thing we find, which is annoying. There you go, that's what we like to see. Yes, Viz, decimate him. Come on now, shop, how have, how have you done this to me? You actually made me full clear and didn't give me a shop. That's... That's offensive. So yeah, I do, I do think there's, um, there's a sort of bug slash overwrite thing where if, if certain types of rooms spawn, such as this one, it overwrites the chance for a shop to spawn, which is really annoying because obviously I'd much, 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 much prefer the shop. <laughs> But nonetheless, let us keep going. We've managed to, to, to really make an interesting run here. Also, where have we got all these flies around us from? Is this like swarm or something that we've got? What's, what, what's, all, what's with all these, these flies protecting us? I don't really know where they've come from. <laughs> Finally, Devil Deal? There you go. Seems like Hush would be a bad idea with this setup, doesn't it? Seems like Hush would be a bad idea. Probably take quite some time. Yeah, let's 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 not do Hush just because I think it would take an extraordinary amount of time to uh to complete. Got a holy clotty here. But I'd say like. This has been like a, it's, 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 it's kind of like a somewhat average run, but it's pretty strong, to be honest. Got a lot of familiars that shoot. A lot of, uh, a lot of effects coming onto our, uh, tiers. We've got a damage up from Sister Maggie. We've got Spectral. We've got, um, we've got the chance to shoot, uh, shoot flies. We've got, what else we got? We've got Flight. we got... The ability to uh, create, like, p basically, you got Perky Go. We've got some decent stuff from Mongo Cells here. Unfortunately, not as many tier effects as I was hoping, but honestly, Spectral tiers alone, plus Marked. Marked is the other one, isn't it? Plus Marked has been, like, the two that have been really special and really sort of carried this run forward. I would have loved to have seen, like, a tier replacer or something, but there's, there's, there's technically still time. This familiar early run has been a rather intriguing one. It was a good idea. As I said, I really want to see more of this in the comments, suggestions for this sort of stuff, because I think these sort of runs could be so fun. And also, this, this familiar early run, if people would like to see this specific run again, let me know, because there's so many varieties, like, so many paths this run could take because of how Mongo Cells works, depending on the familiars we get. So, this run could be entirely different if you did it again. I mean, you can see, like, we're, the, the, the killing power of this run is pretty high. There you are. I tried to throw a bomb in there. It didn't really work. I think as well, getting uh, the Guppy's Pride thing, where it's got all the different Guppy heads each floor, that's been very good to us. Firing a lot more tears because of that. This would have been a lot harder without marks, definitely. Right. Last few items. Can we get a familiar that's really going to change the course of this run? So far, no. Oop. We got the peeper. That's technically a familiar. Um, it does not do much for us, but... Like I said, it does something. It doesn't do much, actually. I thought it fired, but it doesn't fire, so... Not the best for us. We'll make it work. We have a little bit of luck, so chests are plausible. Not super common, but plausible. Cool. Damn it, game. I'd love for you to give me something really crazy. Ooh! Now that's something interesting that I want to try out. Now how exactly 
Does mum's knife fare here? Okay, it doesn't. I was just wondering what it did. Oh, no, wait. Oh, I did get... I did get something going there. Dead Sea Scrolls? Why? Why would you give me Dead Sea Scrolls out of all the things you could give me? I do wonder if there's a shop on this floor, actually. I didn't search the last floor. I don't think there is. I would doubt it. Don't launch your spiders at me, big boy. Eternal D6 hasn't really paid off for us yet either, has it? We haven't gotten any... Oh, there was a luck penny in there that I missed. My bad. Ooh, hello. Um, little Chubby doesn't have a... Doesn't have a thingy either. An effect. Unfortunately, Mongo Cells doesn't affect quite as many of the familiars in the game as I thought it would. It's mainly the familiars that shoot it seems to affect. Bit of a shame, but understandable. We've done a good job of surviving this run, though. Hey, hello. Has a chance to fire a burst of tears? Yes, we will take that. A burst of tears sounds good to me. I mean, he is kind of back at the queue there, but yeah, there you go. He's firing like a triple shot. Look, you see that? He's doing a decent job. What we got in here? Take care of this big fella. Nothing to combat the darkness, but that's okay. We don't need to see. Eyes are overrated. <laughs> look at this row of look at all the all the uh, heads there. It's just kind of crazy that like you can have all these fairly weak familiars. All stacking up to, to, to put out some real DPS. But yeah, I'll, t I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. For the last segment of this run, I'm going to go through... I know I've only got a tiny bit of this run left now. I'm going to go through the Mongo, uh, Mongo Cells wiki and take a look at some familiars that we can give ourselves to get a little interesting. One second... Okay, so let's take a look at this. We've got little Steven here. It's going to give us Herming Tears. And then we've got Robo Baby is going to give us Lasers. Let's see how this functions in the next room, shall we? So there you go. We've got a few fellas firing lasers here. And we've got Herming Tears on top of this. I don't know who's firing the lasers, to be fair. And we've got Herming Creep on top of this. Very, very nice. Pretty wild. Let's have a look at a few more. So our next two to try here is Pointy Rib, shoots Piercing Tears, we get Piercing on all of our fellas. And this one is going to be Rainbow Baby to shoot Random Tears. So let's see how these function in the next room. See, this is the sort of wild stuff that you can see. So it really depends, it really depends on the familiars you get. And honestly, the less modded stuff you have on, the wilder this will be. So obviously we have quite a lot of modded familiars on, but because it only affects vanilla familiars, if you've not got many mods on and you're mainly only seeing uh, vanilla familiars with this setup, it could get pretty crazy pretty fast. So I'm, I'm very intrigued to see how this run could progress given certain items, because something like a Rainbow Baby is, is pretty impressive in terms of the power it can give your run. Like, look at that. It basically gives you fruitcake. It basically just gives you fruitcake. And everybody knows and loves fruitcake. <laughs> Hope we got another chest there. Check that real quick. 
But yeah, I thought it'd be a little waste to not show some of the more creative stuff that can happen. Because although this run's been good and I think a pretty interesting showcase of, of what this can do, it's not been the wildest. I did have a few test runs that got really crazy, but they were, they were a bit too laggy and I didn't do proper commentary over them because they were test runs. But I think we got something pretty interesting here and managed to showcase a familiar run that's, 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 that's pretty interesting. There we go. Good old blue baby's taken care of here. Come on, blue baby. You're going down. Last phase. Oop, I would like a coin, please. Thank you. Do not want to die this late in. Got like a lodestone effect going on right now. Enemies, tears get, all the tears get sucked in. Oh, it was an occult rift. There you go, baby. We finished it off. I hope you guys enjoyed this little weird showcase. It was kind of interesting. A bit of a challenge run. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.